Hi everyone, we are Alison and Ian from Ageless Curiosity. We are a couple from the UK who love travelling and exploring the world. We experienced our first cruise in 2021 and are now hooked on this form of travelling, which we can combine with our adventures. This is the first video from our recent trip to North America, where we visit San Francisco, Vancouver, Alaska via a cruise and Seattle. We start with our experience of a Virgin Atlantic flight to San Francisco from London Heathrow and what you can expect with travelling upper class. We were able to find an upper class ticket cheaper than economy. We will tell you how later in the video. Check-in for upper class is either via a separate desk at the main terminal or via a drive-in route direct to the Virgin Upper Class Wing in Terminal 3. We travelled by public transport nearer to the airport and then took a taxi for the last part so we could drive straight to the Upper Class Wing. This part was fantastic and we really felt this was a special experience. We needed to give our name at the barrier in order to gain access, but once through the barrier we were taken to the dedicated Virgin entrance and greeted by staff. Check-in was quick and easy. Each upper class ticket allows for two check bags which are marked as priority and two pieces of hand luggage. We then went through the dedicated fast track security lane which led us into the area where the main terminal security lanes take you to. A quick walk through duty free and into the Virgin Clubhouse area. we spent a good three to four hours enjoying all the food, drink and facilities. Drinks and hot food were ordered via an app and brought to your seat or you could order via table service. You could also choose some cold options from the food counter. I ordered cauliflower buffalo wings and a vegan burger whilst Ian had a meat burger. The food choice was varied and delicious and the service was friendly and efficient. There were different areas within the lounge with a variety of seating and themes, including a retreat area. Upstairs, there is a games room with a further set of stairs which takes you to an outdoor terrace with close-up views of the plains. There are even peloton bikes for anyone who wishes to use them.
time to head to the plane, which was an Airbus A330-300. We had priority boarding. Upper class seats are also called pods and are configured in an angled position as shown in this layout. We had seats 1 and 2K. It wasn't long before we were enjoying our welcome glass of bubbly. We had a huge overhead locker to store our hand luggage. Extra large leather seats are set at an angle with a footstool to stretch your legs onto and the seat reclines slightly. The configuration of seats were a disappointment due to the size and layout. The window is behind you so you need to turn your neck to see out of the window and you could see everyone in the cabin. It reminded me of meerkats on lookout with passengers peeking out from their pod. There was a good choice of food and drink on the menu and drinks were offered throughout the journey. Takeoff was on time and very smooth. You are given a set of headphones, or you can use your own if you have a standard jack connection. Bluetooth headphones were not compatible. There is a main monitor for entertainment which pulls out in front of you and a smaller handset with a screen at the side of the seat which could be used independently from the main screen. However, the position made it impractical to use both unless you held the handset and it was fiddly to put back due to the lead. Entertainment is the same for all classes. There was an extensive list of films, box sets, TV show and music and the films included some recent releases. The table folded out in front of you but both our tables were cracked and broken in places and the pods in general showed signs of wear and tear. Storage was limited around the seat itself and the table behind was small and awkward to reach. Once we took off, we had a second drink and snack and it was not long before our table was prepared for dinner using a tablecloth. Note the china, glass and metal cutlery as well as the cute salt and pepper condiments shaped as propellers. Food for Ian was from the main menu and was okay, but not spectacular. Food for me was more disappointing. I had selected a vegan dietary option at the time of booking and the cabin steward did have this listed. However, I needed to ask for my starter when everyone else was being served their main course. Despite the apologies, this happened after each course and I did feel forgotten. The main meal was dry and unappetising, but I did enjoy the starter and dessert.
The goodie bag contained a pair of socks, which were already on my feet, eye mask, lip balm, face and hand cream from Wren, a pen, toothbrush and paste, and earplugs. It was possible to black out the windows as you can see from the window behind. Instead of a blind, there was a button to press which gradually blacked out the window. The seat can be changed into a flatbed by the cabin steward. They added a mattress topper, pillow and duvet and I did enjoy a few hours sleep, although it was a very narrow area. I did need to keep my seat belt on in case we experienced turbulence. The whole flight was just over 11 hours, so another upper-class benefit of priority disembarkation and priority luggage claim was most welcome. Now to the cost. At the time of booking, one upper-class seat cost £7,500, which was approximately $8,200, and an economy seat was £2,000, around $2,300. We only paid £450, around $490, for our upper-class tickets. How was this possible? Well, we used our Virgin Air Mile points, which we have been collecting for some time. Look out for a future video where we go into this in more detail, but I can assure you it is possible to travel in upper-class for an incredible price. All you need to pay is the taxes. There are a handful of seats from all classes on each flight where this is possible, but you do need to be quick at booking these seats, as you can imagine they are very popular. Also look out for future videos where we show you our return trip by a premium economy and a comparison video where we compare these two classes, as well as our fantastic trip to San Francisco, Vancouver, Alaska and Seattle. We would like to grow our channel, so please consider subscribing to Ageless Curiosity so you don't miss out on seeing some fantastic sights. We would love to hear your experience of upper class with Virgin or other airlines. And if you have any questions, please write them in the comments. See you in the next video. Bye for now.